la 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 la. Good one. The Traveling Newt Little Johnny Woo sat down at noon to have some lunch and a glass of juice. He picked up his spoon and was about to chew when he looked in his bowl and saw a canoe. Paddling inside was a strange little newt. Uh, how do you do? He said with a hoot. Well, I'm on my way to Kalamazoo. He laughed so hard his face turned blue. But you're in my stew, he said to the dude. But don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Ugh, look, it's a snake swimming in water. Actually, this isn't a snake at all. It's called a Sicilian. And Sicilians are a special kind of animal that can live on land and water. This type of animal is called an amphibian. And amphibians are seriously awesome. Amphibians begin their amazing life swimming underwater, like these tadpoles. But it doesn't take long until they make an amazing transformation and start making their way up to land, like this toad, kicking back and relaxing after a long day of gobbling up flies. And take a look at this guy, it's a red-eyed tree frog. Man, he must be tired, look how red his eyes are. Actually, this guy is quite awake. Scientists believe that those big red eyes are used to scare off snakes or birds that might want to target him for his next meal. Then, we have newts, who, unlike the poem says, have never been found in canoes on their way to Kalamazoo. But check out his cousin, the salamander. Did you know that salamanders can detach their tails? It's true. If they are attacked, the salamander can take its tail off and leave it flopping around so it will distract its predator. And then the salamander can scoop away to safety. Now that's a clever trick. Amphibians. Now these guys aren't so normal. Thank you.